Recently, I suffered a little bit of a BP, and I went to the doctor, and the first thing he said to me is that stop eating red meat, which is again allowed in Islam. So I would uh, think that if these things could be harmful to the human body, these should not have been allowed by who has created us. So if you can clarify me on that. You went to a doctor and you said you had high BP. Yes. Doctor said you have red meat. Yes. So why does Islam allow red meat? Yes. You know, my friend went to a doctor and doctor said you have diabetes. Don't have sugar. Brother, why do you have sugar? Right. Why? Don't have sugar. My friend went to a doctor, doctor said he had diabetes, don't have sugar. Brother, do you have sugar? Yes, of course. Why you have sugar? Stop having sugar. Yeah, well, we can live on vegetables, easily possible. Can, can you can live, live without chicken. having sugar? Can you live without having sugar? Even vegetarians have sugar, brother. Yeah. Are yeah. you educated? Yeah. yeah. MashaAllah. <laughs> the problem is that person had a problem with his pancreas. Yes. In the pancreas, there are islets of linger hand which break down the sugar. Because my friend had a problem in the pancreas, he could not break down the sugar. Therefore, the doctor said, don't have sugar. Right. So yeah. You have some problem of red meat. You should not have red meat. Others can have red meat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Quran yeah. says, a gender statement Quran says, eat what is halal and tayyab for you. There's a verse in the Quran, eat what is halal and tayyab for you. For a person suffering from diabetes, sugar is not tayyab. So according to the Quran, a person having diabetes should have less sugar. It's a general statement. Eat what is halal and tayyab for you. That means certain things which is good for others may not be good for you. But there are certain things which are bad for everyone. Alcohol. Alcohol is bad for everyone. It is prohibited for everyone. Pork is bad for everyone. Therefore, pork has been prohibited for everyone. What do you realize? Certain food, because of the way your metabolism is made, because it's a problem for you, doesn't mean that everyone should abstain from it. Hope that answers the question.